Roscoe's Kellogg's Corn Pops. Because here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pops! Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingle. Danger was a byword with the men who built the West. And when they ran into a danger that was too hot to handle, those men were quick to call on United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his big deputy Jingles. That's how Wild Bill and Jingles got mixed up in a batch of bad medicine at Dry Gulch. Burley, black haired Jack Halloran, and his section crew had just finished building the big railroad bridge across Dry Gulch. Now they were laying track above the bridge through the woods of Windy Flats. All right, all right, get humping. Put your backs into it. Water, boy! Where's that kid from the water? He'll be here. Oh, Mickey, here. Mickey. Come, come on, Pop. Who wants water? Hey, red there. Yeah. Where you been? Out whipping a whole tribe of Indians single-handed? No, I just... Oh, well, this water's hot. Why don't you keep it fresh from the spring? Afraid to go down there alone? No, I ain't, and you know it. I wish the Indians get you. You're a big, loud Ah, uh, 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 Mickey, Mickey, now can that stuff. Get on your horse and get down to the spring. The men have to have water to lay track. Yeah, like I said, And I... you lay off the kid, Red. Go on, Mickey. Go fill those water bags. Sure, Pop. But I ain't gonna give this big redhead no more of it if he dries up. Oh, Starhead. Whoa, Starhead. The old redhead ain't gonna get none of this water. He'll see. Hey, an arrow. Indians. Real Indians. Oh. Hop and horn to it. You're just an Indian kid. You ain't no bigger than me. Me, little red fox. Yeah? Well, I'm Mickey. Huh. You, me, be friends. Make powwow. I just assume, I reckon. You make gift, me make gift. You? You mean I give you something and then you give me something? Uh. Well, what are you going to give me? You got to say first. Me give my moccasin. That's okay, I reckon. Take them off. Here, I'll give you my bowie knife. Uh. Heck, these don't fit me. Got any bigger ones? Me go back camp. Get bigger. Long foot. Water! Where's that kid? Hey, water! Ah, oh, heck, I gotta go back. Me come back. Sundown. Make call. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, you come back later. I'll listen for the hootie owl. You meet me here. Understand? Meet here. Me go now. Well, it's about time. What's the matter, kids? You run into a whole tribe of Indians at the spring? No, not a whole tribe. But I saw an Indian, and I talked to him. Too. Oh, <laughs> kids, you sure can make up the tall tales. Well, I did. Here, give me that water. There ain't an Indian within 40 miles of here. Hey, that was an arrow. Indians shot a hole in this water bag. Indians hey. in that little coyote. All right, all right, come on. Get out behind those tires, yeah. Red. Take some of the men. Take cover. On the engine there. Yeah. Shoot over them. Don't kill them unless you have to. You know, there's a lot to be said for Kellogg's Corn Pops partners, but the best way to know about this wonderful two-way cereal is by munching a few mouthfuls yourself. Yes, sir, you can eat Kellogg's Corn Pops two ways. One way is right out of the box like candy, like I'm eating them now. A real tasty snack with a sweetening already on them. Now, the other way to eat corn pops is out of the bowl with milk. And remember, partners, there's a wonderful new sweetness and flavor in your corn pops now. Because the Kellogg folks kept right on working to make them sweeter and crisper than ever before. So you like them even better than you did from here on, believe me. And your mom's going to let you eat all the corn pops you want because they're tasty, puffed-up hearts of corn and good for you. So if you aren't already settled back enjoying Kellogg's corn pops, you better hit the trail for the store tomorrow and get a load of them. 
You'll need plenty because everyone in your family, Pop and Mom too, are going to like them. Yes, sirree, kids love Pops, Moms love Pops, and Pops love Pops. In a little while, we'll say it together. Right now, let's get back to Wild Bill Hickok. <laughs> A few minutes after Mickey Halloran had left Little Red Fox at the spring, Indians started a furious attack on the railroad construction crew. Meanwhile, not ten miles to the east, United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles were on the road from Pottersville to Windy Flats. Oh, Froggy went a courtin' and he did right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Froggy went a courtin' and he did right. Mm-hmm. Froggy went a courting and he did ride with me something by his side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say, Bill, this sure is pretty country through here. Yeah, Jingles. And it always looks better when there's no trouble staring us in the face. It sure does. Uh-oh. Hey, Jingles, look down the road there. Where? Behind us. Oh, yeah. Hey, that rider's sure fogging it. Hey, look, he's motioning to us. Pull up and we'll wait for him. Woo, Buckchuck. Woo, steady. Whoa, ho, ho, Joker, ho. Man, he's sure in a hurry. And I smell trouble, sure as shooting. Oh, 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 Mr. Hickok! Mr. Hickok! Oh, I, I thought I'd never catch you. What's on your mind, mister? Engine trouble at Windy Flats. Hey, Bill, that's where they're building the railroad. Indian trouble? Yeah, that's what I said. I got a message from Jack Halloran about an hour ago. I seen you right out of Pottersville this way this morning, so I took off after you. What'd the message say? Well, it didn't say much. just said, Halloran, pink. That means emergency. To all points, send Hickok. Indians are... And then the line went dead. Oh, I hate to think what that means. Jack Holler is not one to yell for help unless he needs it. Well, thanks, old timer. Come on, Jingles. We got ten miles of hard riding. Hi, Hi, Jack. Hi. Jack. Halloran, if you don't do something about them engines, you ain't gonna have no crew left. Get back to work, Red. I got no time for beefs from a two-bit yellowback like you. Why, you can't call me All that. right, small-timer, you ask for it. Damn, Pop! Stop this shit! Ah, he ain't big enough, honey. Oh, he ain't, huh? You big dry-dog. All right, all right. That's enough, Mickey. Come on, Red. Get up. Get back to work. I ain't working no more on this railroad. Pay me off. I got money coming. That's good with me. Right here. That covers you up to the minute. And don't let me see that ugly mug within ten miles of this camp again. Now get out. You ain't gonna see me, but you ain't heard the last of me, Halloran. You wait and see. Hey, Pop. Hmm? Here come two riders. Ain't that Wild Bill Hickok? Oh. Yes, son, yeah. yeah. Like I told you, he's come. Oh, 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 oh. oh, howdy, Jack. Hello, Bill. Jingles. Uh, afternoon, Jack. Heard you had a little trouble, so we come a-running. I'm Nicky Howard. Howdy, Wild Bill. Well, hello there, son. Glad to meet you. Shake hands with Jingles, my deputy. Well, hello there, Button. Put her there. <laughs> uh, come in the office car, Bill. I I got a real mystery on my hands here. Mystery? What do you mean, Jack? I thought it was just in you. Yeah, well, that's the mystery. They attacked us full force this morning, raised hob all around the camp, but didn't hit a one of us. How many of them? It seemed like thousands. Must have been a whole tribe. White River Indians? Chief Fighting Bear's tribe, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that for sure. I recognize the war paint. Wearing war paint, too, huh? Bill, that's real bad. Yeah. This is the first attack? Uh-huh. Ain't seen a one before this morning. You know, that doesn't figure. Yeah, I know it. Something hey, fishy. Fire! What's on fire! Hey, I hear somebody hollering fire! Yeah, look. Fire! Look, it's a bridge we just built. It's on fire. That's an Indian trick. Jim. Maybe. Come on, let's get down there. Yeah, come on. If I can't get that engine across before it burns... We'll be cut off from Pottersville and supplies. You got steam up? Let's run it across. Come on. Across the burning bridge, you loco, Bill. Well, we can try it. Yeah, but it, it's a long chance, Bill. Well, you take the throttle, Bill. I'll throw the wood. All right, Jingles. Here we go. She's burning fast, Bill. Well, I've got these throttles wide open. Yeah. Go, you iron horse. Go. Bill. Bill, look. That bridge is going to crash. We're going to go down with it. Slam on the brakes, Bill. Stop this thing. Hurry! You jug-headed, rock-brained idiot. What did you go and get in a fight with Halloran for? Because I got fed up. Fed up? 
Red, I told you to stay on that job and see that they had as many delays as possible. Yeah, but you ain't heard the best. Yeah, what's that? You wanted them delayed, so after I left the camp, I sneaked back and burned the bridge they just built over Dry Gulch. That'll slow them up for a long time. Yeah. That's right, good. They see you? No, and I'll bet they blame that on them engines, too. Yeah, you ain't so bad after all, Red. You got any more tricks up your sleeve? Well, I could think of a few, Blackie, for a little more money. Yeah, you get paid off, all right. I gotta stop that railroad from coming through, or my wagon freighters ain't gonna be worth the powder it'd take to wreck them. Well, you know they got the track built right up into the woods on Windy Flats. Yeah? And they got a stockpile of ties and rails about three miles up in the woods. They have. Huh? Yeah. And I was just wondering how much trouble it'd cause them if there was to happen to be a forest fire pop up across Windy Flats tonight. There's a good breeze most of the time. Red, that's a whopping good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it now. With the bridge gone behind him and the woods bearing down like a blazing inferno in front of him. That ought to put Jack Halloran and his railroad out of business for a long time to come. Bill! Ain't we taking an awful chance riding right into Chief Fighting Bear's camp after all that's happened? Maybe, but I want to hear what he has to say. Well, if talking is all that's done, it's all right. But I look too much like a pincushion. Some of them redskins might get ideas with those bows and arrows. Just let me do the talking, partner. Fighting Bear's always been a pretty good friend of mine. Hey, Bill, Bill, look. A white man driving a driving a freighter wagon out of the Indian camp. Yeah. It does seem kind of funny that right after the Indians attack one set of white men, this Jasper comes and goes without any trouble. Well, now that you mention it, yeah, it does. Come on. Let's go see Chief Fighting Bear. Hi, Buckshot. Hi. Sure, Joker, keep your eyes open. Ho, ho. It is a chief with that big hogan. Yeah. Hey, look at the little shaver with him, just about Mickey Halloran's size. He's waiting for us to come up. Easy now. Woo, Buckshot. Woo, boy. Oh, down, Joker. Woo. How, Chief Fighting Bear? Howdy, Chief. Oh. Why, Wild Bill Hickok come to Indian camp? Bill, he don't sound a bit friendly. Chief, this morning your braves raided the railroad camp. This afternoon, a bridge was burned across Dry Gulch. Why? Braves make raid, keep bargain, get food for tribe. No kill, just make big scare. Bill, he ain't making sense. Why make big scare, Chief? No talk more. What about that bridge? My braves no burn bridge. Now you go, Hickok. No more trouble. <laughs> um, uh, uh, now, Chief, we were just being friendly. Me friends. Uh, you go. Uh, but, but Bill, his braves are crowding in. Uh, this don't look healthy. All right, Chief. I've seen all I need to see anyway. But listen well. If there's any more trouble, it'll bring disaster to your tribe. No more trouble. You go now. Uh, okay, come on, Bill. Hey, let's get out of here while we still got our hides. It'll be dark before we get back to Halloran's now. All right, Jingles. The first thing we'll find out is what happened to Mickey Halloran. camp this morning. I got a good mind to scalp you. No, me no lead raid. Me friend. Bring moccasin like promise. Here. Now we friends. You listen. Listen to what? Bad medicine. Me here powwow. Big pale face make talk with father, chief fighting bear. Who was the pale face? Him drive freight wagon. Bring food. Make bargain. He made a bargain with your father? Uh, that's why raid on your camp. Well, I'll be. You listen. Soon make more trouble. Before moon come. You mean more trouble tonight? Another raid? No, no raid. Engine not make trouble. Pale face make trouble. Where? On Windy Flat. Big fire. Fire? On Windy Flats? The stockpile dad's got up there. I bet that guy. I gotta tell him. No, no tell him. You, me, we stop him. Hey, now you're talking. We'll be heroes like Wild Bill Hicka. Good. Come, me show you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mickey! Hey, Mick! Answer me or come here! I don't know where he's going, Hickok. Nobody can be far. Well, he might have gone down to the spring. Why don't you take a look, Jingles? If you find him, bring him here. I'll stay and talk with Jack. Okay, Bill. I'll round up the little maverick. I'll track him down and run him to the ground. Well, be careful. He doesn't spin you one of them tall tales about whipping a fair bay Indian single-handed, Jingles. <laughs> don't worry, Jack. That little button can't hoorah me. Now, let's see. Spring's down this way. Hmm. Ooh, it sure is dark tonight. Sure hate to have one of them Indians sneak up on me from behind one of those trees. Oh, but I could lick a whole tribe of them. Just lick them single-handed. I... <laughs> sure I could. Why, I'd... Hey, what was that? Stick them up! Oh. <laughs> just a little old bird. <laughs> well, maybe it was a buzzard uh, just waiting for me. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bill, it's been over an hour and no sign of Mickey or Jingles. Wow. <laughs> Who's that? The chief fighting bear. Me look for little red fox. Him gone from camp. Come this way. That's his son, Jack. You see my boy? No, but now maybe things begin to tie up. Maybe we'd better start looking for all three of them pronto. Hey, well, Bill, look. Windy Flats. Where? Bill. Forest fire on Windy Flats. Those kids are up there. The engine. It's still got steam up. There's water barrels in the flight car. Come on. Come on, Chief. You're in this, too. You turn us loose, you hear? Me get loose, me scalp you. <laughs> this is better than I figured. You walk right into my hands. Halloran's kid trying to stop me. Well, you can stay right here till the fire burns the whole woods. I'm getting out before it does. You ain't what? getting out of nowhere, mister. That's what you think, fat boy. Nobody's stopping me. There are two things I like about this here Wild Bill Hickok show. I like the excitement and I like the cereal that goes with it. Kellogg's Corn Pops. Just finished a whole box of this wonderful eating cereal that's already sweetened for you. You know, Wranglers, Kellogg's Corn Pops are hearts of corn, all puffed up big and crisp with plenty of tasty sweetening on them. Now you can eat them right out of the box by the handful, just like candy or out of a bowl with milk. And say, just wait till you taste the wonderful new sweetness and flavor of Corn Pops. The Kellogg folks are now making them sweeter and crisper than ever before. So you'll like them better than ever from here on. Bet my six-shooter on that. All you ranchers who are eating them right now, take a look at the bag inside the box. That's pure aluminum. Keeps Kellogg's Corn Pops fresh up to ten times longer. And your mama like this. That bag's wonderful for storing things in the refrigerator, keeping them fresh and tasty. Now, don't go settling for one box of Corn Pops. Get your mom to load up big. Then out of the box or out of the bowl, you can have all the Kellogg's Corn Pops you want. And you want plenty. Now, you know who loves corn pops. Kids love pops. Moms love pops. And pops love pops. Now, let's hustle on back to the show. Red, Blackie's treacherous henchman, has just set the forest fire and captured Mickey and Little Red Fox. He's about to leave them tied up in the path of the forest fire and escape when he's stopped by Jingle's voice. You ain't getting out of nowhere, mister. That's what you think, fat boy. Nobody's stopping me. Stop! Oh. Boy, you got him, Jingles. Keep good shooting. It sure was. Just like Wild Bill Hickok. Well, now, thank you, partner. All right, you red-headed varmint. You ain't hurt much. Get up. I'm going to stomp out that fire with you. No, no. I've had enough. No. Hey, Jingles, tie us first. Here come Iron Horse. Yeah. Hey, it's the train. They must have seen the fire. Don't you move, Redhead, or you're a dead coyote. Uh, I ain't moving. But let's get out of this fire. All right, Mickey, you're loose. Now untie little Chief Red Fox and let's meet the train. Hello, Bill! Jingles, you got the kids with you? Yeah, everybody's safe and sound, Mickey, Bill. Mickey, Mickey, uh, how you hurt, boy? No 
Pop. Huh. And we almost caught Red sitting in a forest fire. I'm going to tan your hide when I get this fire out. Well, we better hop on it. Those flames are heading for the track. Uh, you got blankets and sacks with you? Yeah, I have. Everybody grab one and dip it in those water barrels and beat out the fire. Come on, now. Let's get going before we get our tail feathers burnt off. <laughs> Well, Bill, I reckon that about does it. We got that old fire licked. Yeah. Now I think it's about time to settle up with this redhead. Yeah? What are you going to do with me, Hickok? Run you into the sheriff. But first, I want to know what caused all this trouble. I ain't talking. You better talk or I'll stomp you into that bed of coal. Oh, no. Now you already shot a hole in my shoulder. I'll talk. I'll leave me alone. All right. We're listening. Wasn't all my fault. I was hired by somebody who didn't want the railroad to go through. Same went for Chief Fighting Bear. What do you mean? Well, same hombre paid the Indians off in food just to throw a scare into the crew. All right. What was the Jasper's name? Quick, you ringtail varmint. Talk! I'll talk. His name is... Bill, they're in the, they're in the trees. I see him. All right, mister. Come on out in the open. You ain't gonna get me, Hickok. I'll get you first. Get off. No, don't shoot again. I give up. I guess I don't have to ask you who you are, mister. Now get back there and let the chief identify you. Hey, Bill, that's the weasel we saw driving the freight wagon away from Chief Fighting Bear's camp. That's right, Jingles. Him see him want to make bargain, bring food to tribe. That right, Chief Fighting Bear? He, him bad medicine. Lied to Fighting Bear. Fighting Bear make big mistake, think him friend. Mm. Him lie. Well, we'll put him where he won't lie to anybody else for a long time. Gee, wild Bill, you and Jingles are a two-man army. You ought to see the way he stopped that old redhead. Bang, bang! All right, all right. That's enough out of you, Mick. You come on. You got a licking coming. Aw, Dad, I didn't do anything. Little red fox, you come. You get same. Oh! Hey, now, hold on. Now, hold on, you two big tough poppers. Them's my partners you got by the ears, and I just risked my neck to save their hides, and I ain't about to stand by and see them tan for nothing, see? (laughs) Gee, willikers, don't I sound tough. <laughs> and now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Thanks for being with us today, folks. Andy and I'll be back again next week, same time. Right, Guy. And all you wranglers be with us, because I know the story, and it's a humdinger. Yes, sir Reed. Meanwhile, Andy and I also hope you'll remember to get Kellogg's Corn Pop. Right. It's a great new cereal with the sweetening already on it. You bet it is. Andy and I think Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. <laughs> Yes, sir, be sure to listen next week at this same time on this same station when Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Bill Boucher, Tom Holland, Fred Shields, Johnny McGovern, Stuffy Singer, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce. Music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love Pops, moms love Pops, Pops love Pops, Kellogg's Corn Pops. (laughs) 